Hello everyone, this is Dr. Swapnil Mane. Today I am going to discuss very important topic, laparoscopic intracorporeal suturing, fundamentals with tips and tricks for the new learners. This topic is most feared by the budding laparoscopic surgeons. We will be discussing, discussing topic in following headlines, that is introduction, needle anatomy, needle entrance, needle handling, needle loading, throwing a stitch, knot tying and tips and tricks or take home message. Laparoscopic intracorporeal suturing is act of tying knots within a cavity using laparoscopic instruments. Acquiring the skills of laparoscopy suturing and knotting technique is a prerequisite for learning advanced laparoscopy. That is a must. In needle anatomy, we use a CT1 that is circle taper needle, vicryl number 1, 15 cm for the pelutrinary use and 30 cm for the patients. Wall closure in TLH. Some surgeon may use a 20 cm vicryl number 1. If CT1 is not available, then round body 40 mm can be used. But thread should be at least 20 cm, 30 cm in the patient. We will see the anatomy parts of the needle. Tip base point A 2 cm distal to the base point B 1 third distal from the tip point C 1 third proximal from the base. While introducing needle, we will hang the needle 2 cm distal to the base that is point A and if 10 mm trocar is available with the help of reducer, we will first insert the needle inside. See, I have shown in the figure, we will insert it in the abdomen. If you are not using the 10 mm trocar, then 5 mm trocar, remove the trocar, generally we remove the trocar first secondary trocar in TLH that is the first trocar that is 2 cm above and medial to the left ASIS. size we used to remove the trocar mount over the needle holder coil the thread load the thread over the needle holder insert the abdomen and then insert the trocar that is very comfortable basically and drop the needle inside the abdomen See the trocar is inserted later on. Very comfortable for this technique. In needle handling, right grasper will hold at point A that is 2 cm distal to the base, and left grasper will hold at point B that is 1 third distal from the tip. And right grasper will manipulate the needle for the proper orientation proper placement over the left needle holder and by right needle holder surgeon will catch at point C that is distal one third basically that will be the proper orientation of the needle that is needle handling at needle loading as I have discussed we will grasp at the point C and our needle direction should be 90 degree to the needle holder Throwing a stitch, we should insert the needle to the tissues at the angle of 70 degree. And counter direction should be given by the instrument. That is mandatory. Counter direction, everything will, will become visible as shown in the picture. See how comfortable it is. Knot tying. There are two techniques of knot tying. Drop needle technique and hold needle technique. In drop needle technique, hold with the right grasper, 2 cm distal to base, left instrument is constant, two wraps are taken and left instrument will hold the tail, we should not pull the tail and two threads are tied parallel to the tissue. Again one wrap is taken to hold the tail, again one wrap is taken, two one one we use here. Two wraps, one wraps, one wrap. While tying, we should not pull the tail excessively. We should not have the traction to tissues. In whole needle technique, see the right grasper will hold at the base 
and uh, needle direction should be aligned to the left needle holder should be close to the left needle holder for the time very comfortable for the beginners we will always teach this technique for the beginners very comfortable take home message or tips about the lapar laparoscopic suturing first is needle should be and 90 degree to the needle direction should be 90 degree to the needle holder and 70 degree to the tissues and see the struggle is there in the figure the very small c is formed that's why the surgeon is struggling for the knotting take a full c elongated u or elongated c and left instrument should be constant make a two wraps of the thread over the left instrument and left instrument should catch the tail and should pull in the opposite direction parallel to the tissue this is touch tissue basically practice is needed to adapt the 2d monitors 2d cameras basically in 3d atmosphere so continuous practice is very essential for the laparoscopic suturing after pelu trainer use we used to give hands on to the candidates and two needle holders or two graspers should move as a unit basically both should be closer to each other during suturing hope you understand the topic and thank you so much